Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Yvette. And your search for the next awesome podcast is over. Welcome to Search Complete. Hello and welcome to Search Complete, a brand new podcast where we see what the internet has been searching for by taking the first part of a question and seeing what Google thinks we want to know. But before typing it in, we'll make our guesses and you can play along at home. Then we'll see how many we get right. Any of the more interesting ones we'll look into and we can learn something new. So, let's get on with it. So, what's our phrase today? Uh, Our phrase today is, how long does it take to... Okay, this should be interesting. I am very confident the top one is going to be, how long does it take to boil an egg? Oh yeah, that's a good idea actually. Ain't nobody knows how long to boil an egg for. It's in the range of two to ten minutes, yeah, but I think. That's because you can boil an egg differently depending on how you like your eggs. It's true. So two to ten minutes is all correct. I'm pretty sure it's more than two, unless you want your egg wet. Yeah, I don't really <laughs> boil eggs, so... Yeah, wet eggs was what happened the one time I actually did try it. And you got any, any well, ideas? I don't know. My instinct, but it's probably not going to be on there, is how long does it take to poop? Pooping is one of those things <laughs> that people never talk about, but everyone's sort of quietly concerned they're, like, doing it wrong somehow. So I feel like people might Google about pooping. You're right. No one... You feel comfortable Googling something like that. No one's going to be judging you. Google's not going to judge you. Google's it's happy. Yeah, but then it will we'll remember, and then it will tell everyone else in that's listening to the show that everyone's actually Googling about pooping. You're going to get poop ads. The is only thing I thing? can think of, it would be, like, the Squatty the Potty. The Squatty Potty, yeah. That would be it. Maybe that actually is quite a good ad, though. It is. Squatty it's Potty ad. Yeah. I actually think uh, another one is going to be, how long does it take to, like, get to the moon or Mars or something? Oh, yeah. I that's think it's so sort good. of like anyone is kind of interested in that concept of, like, going to space. And, like, the no one knows. Like, you see the moon up there, but you have no idea how far away it is. Yeah. Also, I feel like it's the sort of thing that people would, like, debate like yeah, at the pub or something yeah. because everyone's like oh yeah well uh, it's, it's going to take like three years to get to Mars and someone's like no no it will take whatever amount of time and because no one knows everyone can weigh in with like a different random length of time so that might be like a argument settler of a Google I haven't even considered that this that, you know <laughs> this is where most of the questions come from is from like arguments probably yeah. um, I think it's like three days to Mars? Yeah. Not, not Mars. No, moon, the moon. Moon. moon, not moon. Mars. Mars is so much further than the moon. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I guess if that's a search option, we we'll can find, find out. out. I'm going to... Even um, if it's not, I'm going to go look it up. Yeah. One idea that I had um, was how long does it take to fall in love? Ah, because I feel like, you know, fairy yeah. tales has got the whole love at first sight thing. But I don't know. How long would you say? Oh, that's a bit... I don't know. I think it, it depends how long it takes to get to know someone, doesn't it? Yeah. But I guess it's how much time you have in contact with them. Yeah. Because it could happen if you like spend all the time with them. It could happen very quickly. But uh, if you only get to see each other once a week, it could take a longer time. Mm. Anyway, another one I've got, I think, will be something about how long does it take to get a prescription? Because people are generally like it searching. It takes blooming ages. <laughs> What I mean, prescription is more like once you've ordered it, not how long do you have to queue for it. <laughs> in which case, it would be a very, very long time if it was about the queuing. But I won't mean like once you've ordered it, how long does it take to come in? Because people mm. are generally like concerned about their health. Or like yeah. generally not a good idea to Google a symptom. No. I suppose you could on that line be like, how long does it take to get better from a cold or like mm. some kind of illness? You know, like how long does it take to recover from a stomach bug or something? Because they always say, like, you have to wait 24 hours after it stops to go back to work and stuff. I thought it was 48 hours. Was it? See, maybe that's why people are Googling <laughs> it, because they don't know, and they want to have extra days off work. <laughs> how long can I get what they want? <laughs> how long so can I get off work? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, also I think maybe, like, learning stuff. Like, how long does it take to learn this? Like, how long does it take to learn to drive? Yeah. Or, you know, because some, I think people... I don't know, but when they start something, it always feels really slow, doesn't it? And you kind of want to know that you're not... Like... Where's the end? Where's the end? Yeah. And I, I, don't, I feel like people like to know sort of where they are, like, in terms of everyone else. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you 
you're searching how long does it take to learn to drive because you've been doing it two weeks and you're still really rubbish and then it says oh it takes most people a year or something yeah um, feel better about it yeah whereas also if it's like how long does it take to do something that you've been doing for like 10 years and you're still no good at it you might decide to cut your losses and move on yeah but I don't know I haven't really got a like good feeling about any of ours I feel like we probably haven't guessed any of them right the only one I am like so confident on is the egg one the egg one, yeah, probably. But any of the other ones, I think, are just a shot in the dark. So why don't we... I'm going to open it up right now, and we can read them live. Okay, cool. Here we go. How... Lo- no, oh, I need to go to google.com, because it doesn't work if you search it in the uh, <laughs> in the tab. Uh, and we also should probably prefix with the fact we're from the UK. Google, with slight, Google will give different results depending where you are, probably. I don't actually know that, but I think so. Does it give different results depending on, like, who you are? As well, like your previous search history. That's a good point. I'm going incognito. Uh, let's do this again. <laughs> Just in case it, it comes yeah. up with real weird stuff and then that reflects on you. <laughs> <laughs> How right. long does it take to... Get to the moon. Hard boil an egg. So they were specific. Get to Mars. And get to the moon. Boil an egg. I feel like you've won the top <laughs> four. Walk a mile. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Digest food, fall asleep. Get a passport actually was one that I was thinking of, but then I wasn't sure if I was just thinking about that because I do need to get a new passport. Yeah, maybe. Well, uh, you know what, with Brexit and all that, we're from the UK, more people are searching it. Wouldn't surprise me. The final one is charge an electric car. That's actually good. Yeah, that's a good one as well. So uh, we're going to go through these, see which ones are interesting, and we'll get back to you. Okay, we are back, and uh, we each looked into different ones, so some of the answers are going to be surprises for each of us. And uh, I'm going to start with the moon. How long does it take to get to the moon? And uh, the answer is about three days. I think that's what we reckoned, that, wasn't I it? I think that's what I said, yeah, yeah. The, um, so the 1969 moon landing, it took um, so Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Mm-hmm. It took them 51 hours and 49 minutes to get into uh, Moon's orbit. Uh, so that's just over two days. So pretty speedy. The fastest, though, mm. eight hours and 35 minutes. Wow. Speed run to the Moon. Yeah, although... That, I, was I, that a manned mission? No, no, no. no okay. unmanned. That was, <laughs> I think it was a satellite going to Pluto, uh, but it went oh, past. Oh, it went past. Went past. Uh, I think I saw about that Pluto one when I was looking at Mars. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, so that was, uh, I think it was quite recent. That's speedy. So that's about, um, the distance is 240,000 miles, which is six times the circumference of the Earth. Wow. Pretty, uh, pretty far, but not as far as I would imagine Mars. Yeah, so I was actually quite surprised about the results of my looking up Mars, because what, what did we, we reckon, like, three years, right? Oh, I didn't reckon anything, but yeah, three years sounds yeah. sounds about right. I but know it is so much further away than... Guess how far Mars. it is, actually. How far do you reckon it is okay. to Mars? So if Moon is 240,000 miles... Are we... Yeah. Do you want it in miles or kilometers? Miles. Close enough. I've got it in. Um, I would say... I'm going to sound so stupid if I'm far off this. 100 million? No. So it's 34 million, 647... Oh, yeah. 1420 miles but it's kind of complicated because it's not always the same because oh, obviously it's... mars is on a a bigger herb a bigger orbit around the because sun. It is, mars has further to go around the sun right yeah because one mars year is like almost two years yeah um I see. so at that's their closest 30 like th- i think 33.9 million is the closest they can possibly be okay uh yeah so this 34 million um, was because in 2003, there, uh, Mars made its closest approach to Earth in almost 60,000 years. So Jeez. the orbits like don't line up that great to okay. like get them really close together. But in 2003, um, like NASA took advantage of that, and the Hubble Space Telescope observed the red planet when it was 34 million miles away. So that's kind of the closest it's been for like ages. Yeah. Yeah. So the average distance is 140 million miles. So you want you were in oh, the range okay, okay, when you said right. 100 million. I was, it wasn't ridiculous. No. Obviously, if you want to get to Mars, you want to go when the planets are reasonably close together. Yeah, you don't really so, want to go around the sun. Or through the sun, <laughs> yeah. which because sometimes when they're close, but the sun's in the way, so you still got uh, to go around. So it actually 
only, I say only, but it, t- it takes seven months to get from Earth to Mars. Okay. Around 200 days. Okay. But in order to have, so, because you know three years was like a thing that we had sort of yeah. in our minds. And that's because if we were to do, like, you know, they've been planning Mars missions for like in the next 10 years. Well, like saying, a manned Mars We'll get a manned mission, mission to yeah. Mars. But the actual mission would have to take around three years. Oh, there it takes back. Nine, nine months to get there. Then because of the orbits, you'd have to stay there for a few months. Then it would take another nine months to come back. Okay. But, and because of like all the fuel and stuff, you'd have to come back at a, when the planets are closer. And obviously, you'd probably there's be no point going there and coming straight back. <laughs> uh, be a waste of time. Hi, I've um, seen it. Yeah. I had a great experience. Yeah, so I thought it was quite interesting, actually. I, you know... It's, when you think about the different orbits, it sort of makes sense, but... You know, long, long weekend. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, from one spherical thing to another, eggs. Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Some, some, some planets are eggy shaped. How long can you boil them for? <laughs> oh, I think they're already boiling a lot of them. <laughs> um, soft in the middle as well. But no... Uh, Hard-boiled eggs was the question. How long does it take to hard-boil an egg? The answer is six to seven minutes. Okay. But I've got some extra tips for you guys from uh, a great website. I can't remember what it was called. Something about (laughs) cooking. (laughs) (laughs) Great sources here, guys. Uh, Tip is you put it in cold water first, bring it up to boil, then you start the timer for your timer forever, however long you want it, hard-boiled, soft-boiled recommended six to seven minutes and then take it out and then put it in ice cold water because we will have ice cold water around uh, apparently that just makes it easier to peel doesn't make so it, taste it has any to better. be ice cold like not just like cold half cold well, I, I, I don't know it said ice cold in the article but i think cold will do and it only it's not going to affect the flavor or the texture just, just to make it easier, the to peel it. easier i think that's why i never really bother boiling eggs to be honest getting the shell off is always a pain yeah it's probably one of the uh my you know lower tiers of eggs you know you've got your your fried your scrambled scotch scotch yeah <laughs> and then somewhere in the middle um I'm trying to think what, what's in the middle what's a middle egg what's a middling egg dippy egg that's that's soft boiled egg yeah soft boiled at the top hard hard boiled in the middle okay because I, I like it a little runny fair and then the bottom is like i don't know poached no poached is fine as well there is no bottom egg. Eggs are good. <laughs> there is no bottom tier raw. egg. But yeah, raw, raw, yes. <laughs> raw egg or egg, eggnog or something. That stuff's weird. Um, but yeah, that's eggs. Six to seven minutes. Keep, keep that number in your head and you won't go wrong with your boggling of eggs next time around. I mean, it can't go that wrong though, can it? Like, still an egg. I suppose yeah. you could get the bottom tier raw egg if you really don't yeah, boil it at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, so shall we carry on with the theme of food? And how long does it take to digest food? Yeah. Um, I, I, you, this is the one you looked up. Um, but in my head, I swear people say like seven, eight, nine hours so from one end to the other. Yeah, so it takes um, six to eight hours for food, like for the most part of digestion. So for the food to move through your stomach and small intestine. But then the overall digestion process takes like 24, 72 hours because the food... Uh, for the food to move through the large intestine, the further digestion and absorption of water and elimination of undigested food is the part that takes the longest, so on average about 36 hours. So the exact amount of time it takes to digest food varies depending on what you eat. So what do you reckon is sort of a harder thing to digest? I guess highly, like, just vegetables, I guess. Highly fibrous foods. Yeah, high high fibre, um... And also, like, protein-rich foods. So if you eat a lot of meat, that can slow down your Um, digestion because it's harder for your body to break down the protein. Whereas, like, sweets and sugary things... Oh, yeah, straight into the bloodstream. Really quick. (laughs) Yeah. Do you think there's a difference between men and women's digestion? Um, I don't know. I guess men, on average, are bigger, so their tract is longer. But I think that's probably the only contributing factor. So you reckon it takes longer for men to digest food? Yeah, surely, just based on size. So it actually takes less time for men. So there's Trick a, question. A, a, yeah, 1980s <laughs> study. Um, transit time through the large intestine, 47 hours for women and 33 hours for men. 
It's quite a big difference. Was there a reason for that? I don't know. Like maybe it says in the in the study, but interesting. Uh, Because I was wondering whether it's like a difference in the diets or something. But then you would imagine that men would eat more meat, and then that would make them take Uh, longer. I would generally say men probably have worse diets than women on average. Yeah. Um, which would probably lead to worse digestion. Mm. That could be quicker or, or slower, yeah. depending on uh, what they're eating. But I yeah. suppose it could be like an evolutionary thing. If men are more invo- you know, more hunting in the hunter-gatherer sort of model, um, and they're, you know... Because obviously when you're fight and flight, you're not digesting, are you? So maybe no. they try and do the digesting more quickly when they can yeah. or something. Maybe it's like an evolutionary thing. I don't know. I feel like it probably hasn't been studied that much if it's citing this 1980s I, I guess study. It's, but... yeah. I guess there's not much uh, need for study on it. It's like, people poop. Yeah. Great. Um, yeah, obviously one other thing that can affect it is if you've got a digestive issue, like Crohn's disease or diverticulitis or IBS or yeah. something that can... Celiacs. Yeah, slow it down. Um, do you want to know some tips for better digestion? Uh, I would, actually. Yeah. So, number one... Better diet, balanced diet. Oh, wow. But um, lots of fibre, not too much red meat, not too much fatty or processed foods, and avoid additives because they can give you like an upset stomach as well. So basically just eat healthy. Be healthy. Yeah. Great. Yeah, basically these are all like health tips in general, but yeah. I guess they will, will help your digestion. Sense, yeah. So like hydration to prevent constipation because yeah, you that's need a water to keep yeah. everything moving through. Um, probiotics help um hmm. potentially <laughs> like probably need to look into it a bit more yeah. but obviously in your gut there's a lot of bacteria yeah. that mostly do all the work so if you've got healthy gut bacteria your digestion is mm. a bit more healthy um physical activity um it suggests like going for a walk after dinner or something to help reduce like bloating and sort of stimulate movement yeah i can imagine that that being a helpful one um this one i uh, kind of it seems obvious but um, it did surprise me. So stress management, because if you're very stressed, it's all tight. It's probably back to the fight or flight thing, yeah. and you're not digesting as quickly. So then, if your digestion gets really slowed down, and then you can become like constipated. Yeah. Also, dental hygiene, because chewing is part of the digestion process. So if you don't yes. chew your food properly, you're like, because you, you know, I think most people think that once it's in the stomach, it's digesting, but actually. The mastication is the first step. So if you if you've got rubbish teeth or you're literally just swallowing yeah. food whole, <laughs> yeah. that's you're gonna really um, cause issues lower down and isn't, maybe take it longer. Isn't there like a recommended number of chews per food? Yeah, like, but it seems it's like, really it's high. Like thirty six or something, thirty two or thirty six. That might be the number of teeth actually. But I feel like it's around the it sort is, of like it is in 30 30, number. It's quite high, isn't it? I think I did try that as a child and the food was just completely obliterated and it became really <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Yeah, and then the only other tip was obviously if you've got a digestive condition, then seek medical help for that. And um, yeah. yeah, so like there are certain things like if you've got um, weak stomach acid or something, you can get um, like digestive enzymes that you can take to help. I think six to eight hours is like in general, but then it takes longer for it to become like properly processed. So complete digestion takes 24 to 72 hours. But so, the food moves through the stomach and small intestine within six to eight hours. Okay. So, so it's not like eating to pooping in six to eight hours. Okay. That's just the main parts that you consider as digestion in six to eight hours. Okay. So anywhere between six to 30 hours. Yeah, like if you eat something and you haven't pooed it out in eight hours, that's not like an issue. Yeah. It's just that's when the, you know, the middle bit is happening. Yeah, most, most of In the time. large intestine is when all the actual absorption happens, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the slow bit. That is the slow bit. Well, you mentioned another excellent tangent. You said walking was helpful. Yeah. And segueing onto walking, one of the questions was, how long does it take to walk a mile? And uh, obviously that varies on your health, but, and uh, your age, and how fast you walk. 15 to 20 minutes at a moderate pace. There was something I came across which I thought was quite funny. A reference to something called LIS. LIS. Have you heard of it? No. Low intensity interval training. Okay. And now in your head you're like, how is LIS the acronym for low intensity interval training? Yeah. But my own, I don't know what. Is it, was no was it made it. by someone who speaks a different language? No, I think, I think it's because they just couldn't have it as lit. 
I feel like you could it'd have much much better selling point if it was lit. Yeah. Hey, let's go for some <laughs> lit walking. <laughs> Might mean something else to other people. Um, <laughs> Uh, and in that 15 to 20 minutes of your mile walk, you could probably burn about 100 calories. Okay. Which is not too bad, you know. You could uh, eat a Kit Kat while you're doing it. Yeah, then you utilised it. Uh, to walk a marathon, how long do you think? Oh, I don't. how long does it take to run a marathon? About four hours, four, four or five hours. So, so to walk a marathon, maybe double, maybe like eight, eight hours. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty close. Six and a half hours to eight hours. Okay, so like the time it takes to digest <laughs> yeah. is how long it takes to walk a marathon. Eat your breakfast, uh, finish the marathon, go to the toilet. Yeah, get those eggs out. Yeah, yeah eggs probably <laughs> pretty good. And uh, uh, that feels like such a good ending, but um, the final one, well, I think, is quite interesting. Is How long does it take to get a passport? In the UK, this is, anyway. Is that get a new, get a passport Renew like when you've or never get a new had one. one? Does it take no, longer if I, you've never had I one? I don't know, I didn't come across that. Hmm. Probably... But if you were to get a new one or renew it, it would take three weeks. That's not too bad. I was getting worried about about mine, but... <laughs> three weeks, yeah, yeah. And uh, it costs about £75.50, which... <laughs> for something that I feel like you have to have... It seems a bit ridiculous, seems doesn't it? That you have to pay almost 80 quid just to be allowed to leave the country. How much was it for a new driver's license? I felt that was like a tenner or something. No, that's no. that's like There's seventy a... quid as well. Mm. But it. It's... I guess there's probably a lot of admin. Maybe yeah, it's paying for all the admin and probably also like actually making them is fairly expensive because of all the anti counterfeiting. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, you don't have to get one that often. So. Yeah, that's it. Is there anything else you want to say of it? Mm, I don't think what, so. What was your most interesting one? I thought the Mars thing was really interesting because that it was really like unexpected the results like i don't know i just had in my mind that it took three years to get to mars but actually the mission in, in total would take three years because it only takes seven months to get to mars yeah i feel like the digestion was pretty much as expected the egg thing that was my favorite was it eggs yeah <laughs> you're gonna start boiling loads of eggs now no of... <laughs> too much effort <laughs> So, uh, in terms of effort, you're not be walking marathons either, then. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I think I get. I'm, I think I feel like I walk like maybe five k a day. Does that mean I burn five? I feel like cal- eight hours to walk a marathon. Like a marathon seems so far, right? It like does. Eight hours doesn't seem that bad. Honestly, if I was doing a marathon and then I started running it and like a bit being like, oh, this is too much effort. I was like, screw it, I'm walking it. Yeah. It's not going to take that much more in the grand scheme of things. To be honest, probably loads of people do end up walking it because it is so far. I feel like it's so far that most people aren't able to train by running a whole marathon. I don't think you ever train by going, you do like half marathons and stuff yeah. like that and then you just kind of have to hope that the crowd pushes you along <laughs> as you keep going. All right. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for phrases we could search, that would be great. Um, I would say send them to us on social media, but we don't actually have any social media accounts yet. So when we save do, them up yeah. and send them in the future. Yeah, when we do, I'll uh, update the show notes. Yeah, with them. Um, so that's it from us here at Search Complete. I'm Doug, and I'm Yvette, and uh, we see you guys in the next one. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>